I was born in Braddock Hospital. I went to school at St. Brennan. Secondly, I, I went to St. Thomas High School in, in Braddock, and I, I graduated from there. And I do recall vividly, as I walked from my home at the foot of the Rankin Bridge, 11 blocks to the school, that I remember just a booming, booming community with plenty of people and lots of businesses and lots of friendly atmosphere where people felt very comfortable walking back and forth to work, doing their shopping. And around the 70s, you could see the decline in the steel mills. And as people lost their jobs, they started to move out of the community. And finally, the, the businesses began to evacuate. But for that period of time, it was just a booming, booming area as I was growing up. I moved into Braddock in May of 1992. So I've been here 20 years. When I moved here, Braddock still had some businesses on the main avenue. There was a grocery store. There was a clothing store. I can't really remember. Alexander's, I think, was the name of it, was the clothing store. The library wasn't open. It was closed. There were a lot of restaurants on Braddock Avenue. And a lot of the houses around here were still standing and occupied. There weren't a lot of vacant homes and there weren't a lot of vacant land. I've seen that a lot of businesses have closed. I guess just the fact that they have to tear down so many homes. That hurts just to see that these houses end up being empty and then they become abandoned and then they become trash and then they have to be torn down. So that's something that I've seen happen a lot and I almost feel like crying <laughs> because you see some of your neighbors when they leave. Their houses end up being torn down. That's kind of sad. And I just hope as a homeowner and as a mother that my son would at least try to keep my house up if I were to die or when I get older. So I think that that hurts the community a lot.